Hi everyone, this is Nikki from Polka Doodles. So this is video two in our mini series um, of three videos just showing you how to download, how to save, print those files and actually um, a little bit more advanced techniques on how to resize and manipulate your images. So this is video two. If you haven't seen the previous one and you're not sure how to download the actual files, etc., then please watch video one as well. And as I said, there'll be another one after this as well. So in this video, we've already um, placed our order. We've got our email and everything else. Um, just to show you, because I didn't show you on the last um, video, here's the actual confirmation email. So if you wanted to, you can actually... So this comes direct into your email address. And you also get the download link here. Um, so you can actually go to, um, just click the link and it'll take you straight into your account where you can then download the collection. Now, the other thing here as well is that, let me just get rid of that. Um, if you don't get that email for whatever reason, as I said before, um, if it goes to your spam or you just don't get the email, just log back into your account and go into your order um, history here and these orders are actually in here as well so if we wanted to again we can just come straight in that's a different order but they're all still there let me bear with me um, and that, that will all open up for you so basically um, here I am this is let me just maximize that up I think I'd opened a different screen up actually but never mind so this is our order that we've just ordered and on this video I want to actually deal with a zip so a zip file is nothing to be scared of basically what it is is a collection of images that have all been pushed together into a folder collected into a folder and then because we just want you to be able to make one download and get all of those images together, we zip it all up together as if you were zipping your coat up or a zipping up of a bag. Um, and then all that needs to happen is when you actually receive this file, you have to unzip that bag or that folder. Um, so basically, I'm going to download this and it's going to ask me where I want it to go. Uh, I want it to go into my download folder and I'm going to save it into there, okay? And depending on your your link and everything, it might take a little bit longer, depending on what it is. Uh, mine's actually in here already. Uh, my connection's quite slow, so um, I don't know whether it'll work straight away. I might need to give it five minutes to, to download. Um, which is what you might need to do as well. It's it's actually a 12 meg file. So it depends how fast your internet speed is. So to unzip it, generally what you need to do is to double click this. Now I'm actually on a Mac here. So my unzipping process is slightly different to yours on a PC. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to double click the file and on a Mac, it immediately unzips that and creates a folder. Now, what happens on a PC is that um, a program called WinZip will generally kick in. And with WinZip, it will do the same thing. But really, really, this is a really important bit that's different to you for me, is that you will then be asked to uh, extract so it will say, do you want to unzip and extract or just unzip? You need to make sure you extract those files. It will look like it's opened them, but if you have not extracted those files, they are not open properly. And what happens is if you don't extract, it will only take out certain bits of the folder and show you like a preview and you actually haven't accessed the whole folder so until you do that extraction you do not get everything that's in that bundle so it will look like half of it's missing so it, for instance in here you've got 12 files in here 12 images you might only have six in in a folder that's got an extraction that hasn't been extracted and also it means that when you come to actually try to use that image it won't work properly because you haven't actually got it properly so please make sure 
on a PC you extract. There's full instructions for this on the website. Um, if I just go up to the top of the website and go to the help here, um, there's lots of, um, go into the problems here, there's lots of help in this section of the website. So it's got downloads, Windows 10 help, help with files not opening correctly, technical help with print, printing, etc. So please use that um, as a resource for you because it'll answer all of your questions. Whatever your problem is, someone else has had that problem because we have very few problems with downloads. The very, very specific is about half a dozen things that go wrong and it's because it's something that you're doing it's not it's very rarely anything to do with the website so anyway in here so we've got our images so I'm just going to open up this image now so this is all saved onto my Mac or onto my PC and I've got the full bundle in here of what I can use and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to open that file it will automatically open this file in your default image program whatever that might be so for me here um, on a Mac it's actually opening up in preview if you're on a PC it's going to open in Windows uh, image viewer or image uh, photo viewer and then you can actually print this in here so I'm just going to go to the print um, command and now I can actually tell it how I want it to print. So um, on here I'm set up for an A4, you can change that into whatever page size you want it to be. And what I always recommend is just use the scale. So this is obviously going to print out as a huge A4 sheet. I don't want it at that. I'm gonna scale it down to about 20%, which is actually about right for me. So um, that's probably around about the same size. Usually, I would say between 15, somewhere between 15 and 20% is about the right size for a, a standard size card. Obviously, some of you do it much larger as well. Um, let me see, where's 35? You know, that's going to be a ginormous card. Um, but you can print it at whatever size you want, and then you just literally click print. There are other settings in here. So, layout, if you go into layout, and this is on a PC as well. You could actually tell it that you want to, um, if, if you had four images open here, um, it would actually print all four on one sheet. Um, but on a Windows PC, that option gives you the, the option to actually print four copies of that on one page. So just play around with your printer settings when it comes up in the print menu. And that is how to resize really, really easily without getting into anything complicated. So we're just gonna print that and then that's it. And, and we'll have that image ready to go. And that's it. Your um, One thing I haven't mentioned is about paper quality. And that is really important. Please don't print onto photocopy paper. You know, you don't wanna be using that art for card making or paper crafting. You really need a nice quality paper. And the better paper you use, the better quality your image will come out as. Um, you know, you, you, you don't want to be spending money and then printing onto rubbish paper. It ends up being a waste of ink um, and it ends up costing you more money than the original nice piece of paper would cost. We have an awesome paper in, in stock called Ultimate Graphic and I highly recommend it. Right, that's it for this video. If you want more help on how to actually manipulate your image and get more out of your digits, then watch the next video where I'm gonna show you all about how to really easily manipulate those images using Microsoft Word. Okay, I'll see you later, bye.